Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, we have re-rendered Google chart to set text alignment of values and labels. And in this video, we are going to integrate Google Map in our analytical module. Okay, so first view on analytical data table. Here we have location. The first is latitude and right after comma, we have longitude. We can use these values to plot pinpoints on the map to reflect that how many users belong to which country. Okay, so here we have browsers. Now we are going to create an other tab here. Okay, so let's create an other tab here geo location here we have geo location id and here we have tab 3 okay now we need to create another tab here value tab 3 we have to remove this assignment and we need to bind Google Map here. So let's remove this. Okay, ID is 12. We don't use the chart ID here, we use uh, map, geo map style will be 600 by 600 okay now save it refresh and here we have a tab okay uh, let's search for Google Maps okay and here we have Google Maps JavaScript API here we have Google Map from here we can integrate google map okay so go to the reference first and or from the sample we can extract the initial code this is the sample map okay so what we need to do we need to copy this code first we need to copy this async request okay copy this and paste in the end of the page here okay here we will place our api key and here will be the method which we want to call okay so we are right now using the previous version of google map but for the integrity of the application we will use volume 3 google map v3 here is uh, the map okay add a map with a marker here you can see how it's created we simply use this function copy and paste above here okay here we have lat longs and here we have map id which is right now geo map we are going to use this and place your map here okay uh, we don't have api key but it will work too without that <clears throat> here we see in the geo location we have google map but there is something wrong happen and that is because we don't have API key we can easily get that if we have paid version but if you don't have paid version you can use any key from the Google or by using the expired keys here okay so let's get a key from Google okay 
Google Map key from any other block we can extract the Google Map key okay we don't find here but we can get somewhere else okay uh, maybe this will work okay it's not working uh, we can use zero here and let's see is it work or not well okay it's just not working let me search okay. okay here I have created a Google account and created a Google map API key and attach that within my code and now when I will click on this it will send a request to Google map and validate that key if that key is validated then this map will automatically load it after a few seconds like it is right now within the validation form and when I will click here you can see okay it's validating but it is for the development purpose only in the next videos we are going to render multiple pinpoints according to the location which we have saved within our database on this google map i hope this is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye have fun